Okay, so this is the reassembly instructions for the Yamaha RM Pro 2. So the first thing you need to do, you take the um, lock plate for this. Uh, this is going to be for the, um, the lock screws for the intonation. So there's five screws that we want to put. You're going to make sure that when this is facing up, sorry, uh, when this is facing up, this is going to be where the trim actually goes in, and it's going to be facing in this direction where this is actually facing down. So this will be the way that it's going to be placed. You don't want this to be facing up like this because it's going to bang into the other piece. So you want this actually facing downwards. So that's where the five holes align. You have five chrome screws. Let's go ahead and put one in there. Just kind of lock it in place. There we go. Once we get that in there, screw that together. And then we'll just line up the rest of the screws right here. Very easy to do. I'm just going to start with the outer sides. Okay, so now that that is assembled, that's the first part. You have to put these screws in first because when you put this plate on there, there's going to be no access point for you to get under because it actually covers that. So the next thing is to do is to put these other six little mini screws, little things about this size. Those are going to be the plate screws. So once we've got those two, all the other ones are going to be perfectly lined up. So you just go ahead and put the rest of them in. Okay. Uh, drop two screws. Classic. All right. Luckily, this was easy to find. But this is why you get yourself, when you have carpet, get yourself a magnet because you can just... Grab them off the carpet, even if you can't see them, even if they fall underneath your desk. And since this is a mechanical screwdriver with a little bit of magnetic, just go ahead and put them on the end of this, and then put them in there. Ah, look at the solution. It's always something if you don't lose your mind. Yeah, put that screw on the tip of that. You beautiful thing, you. All right, so now that we got the essential parts put together, now we're going to go ahead and throw these guys in. And, uh, okay, so I already explained in another video, but basically make sure that you've got the thinner parts of the tremolo on the outside for the ease. It will just drop in just like yay. Then you will want to put in these, which are the Allen keys. They will keep that right here for the fine tuners. Start with that. And then finish off with the actual Allen piece, which like yay, and it's magnetic, which makes it lovely. And we won't care about the positioning. Put it on the outside screw first. Careful not to uh, cross thread that. And that's it. That's all you really need to do. Now, the last part is going to be these pieces. And then you take this with one of the washers that there. And we're going to throw that through this, that hole right there, and then screw it into this. Keep in mind, if you would over adjust this, you will not be able to set the intonation back and forth. So just keep that in mind of how that works. Okay. So just keep them loose. Don't tighten them all the way in, but make sure that they're attached. And then we'll move on to the next one. Should be this one right here. Let's just line up all these guys so we can confirm the radius is correct because nothing sucks more than having to take it apart twice. Okay, now that they're all there, you can see that the highest points are in the center. The midpoints are right here for the B and the A string, and then the low E, not he, high E, is right here. So this is the correct radius. So very simply, you can just screw all these pieces in underneath the fine tuners. Okay, we got all that together. So that's essentially what the tremolo looks like, but we got to put all these rest of these washers and these pieces through. So I'll just go ahead and thread those. All right, so the last piece is this guy right here, which is the tremolo lock, which is right over the top of this piece. supposed to be that tight or not, but I think that's it. 
He's just supposed to hold down on that thing just to actually grip the, the trim arm. But that is the completion of this particular trim, which is crazy looking. It's very complicated, but it's very cool trim, very high quality, weighs a ton, uh, but it's very stable. Um, hopefully this uh, video helped you, you know, if you pulled it apart and started cleaning, you didn't know what the hell you were doing when you were putting it back. This should be the ultimate guide. So, rock and roll.